Hello, I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, a C-section birth. I had to have um, a cesarean section while it was highly recommended um, for medical reasons on medical grounds by my consultant. Uh, I did have the choice, but in the end I've decided, I decided to go with um, the cesarean for the safer option for me and for baby. She's just had a bottle and she's wanting more, I think. Yeah, are you talking to the camera? We'll have to come on the camera soon, won't you? So, um, starting at the right at the beginning. So, once I found out that it, um, cesarean was something I was going to have to go through, I mentally prepared myself. I did meditations and... To put it bluntly, I was terrified, absolutely terrified. My godmother is um, one of the senior midwives up at the hospital and she was fantastic. About a week before the C-section, she came round and she explained the whole procedure to me, everything, everything that was going to happen, she explained and she explained it perfectly. I thought, oh, she's making it up, it's going to be terrifying. Well, I didn't think she was making it up, but I thought she was making it sound nicer so that I wasn't, so that I wasn't as scared. Um, but no, it was fantastic. The morning of the C-section, we woke up at about six o'clock, half past six, and we had to be at the hospital to check, check in, like a hotel, at um, for 8 a.m. So we dropped the doggy off with my mum and dad, and we went merrily on our way with a big bump, ready to kind of go and collect a baby. That's how it felt. So when we got to the hospital, everyone made us feel really at ease. We were put in a lovely little room to wait. And then I found out I was first on the list. I think it was out of like three ladies a day. And then obviously emergencies as well. But um, so I was first. So there I was, ready. Surgeons had come in, spoken to me, told me the whole procedure, given me the option to have a general anaesthetic and go to sleep. I opted against that. I went for the spinal spinal tap, spinal block, it's like the epidural type thing that goes into your spine. Um, so I was waiting, gown on, Sam was all capped up and crocs on his feet which he was so pleased about, not. And um, then the surgeon came through and said unfortunately we're a little bit delayed, something's going on with something in the theatre, the air conditioning, whoops, the joys of tripod holding onto my phone. <laughs> so, yes, so we had some complications in surgery that we had to wait um, a little bit longer to go in. But anyway, we, we ended up going in not long after, about half an hour, three quarters of an hour after that. And then the scariest part was walking to the theatre because when I think about a lady that's in labour, they're pushing and you know, they're going through all this pain and discomfort and they got to get this baby out because their body is is getting the baby out. It's protesting and it's it's in labour. Whereas I was just like this. But like this <laughs> with a big bump. And I just walked down and got onto the um onto the table myself which was really weird I remember walking in and there was lots of people in there prepping there was be the beeping it, it was a little bit intimidating at first but then as soon as my midwife had said to me are you ready to meet your baby I just got straight on the table and then I had one um doctor nurse trying to put in um I've still got my little scars actually, they tried to go in here, I think they might have tried to go in here and I had a failed one here I think. So they tried to put the, the IV um, drips in my hands and then eventually they got it in this one. Um, I'll share some pictures of my IV drips on my Instagram as well, it's Lizzie Mama. So when I got on the table, they, like I said, they put the IV drips in, they put uh, the spinal blocking. Now my friends and family asked me what that was like. I, I really can't remember. I, I remember being a complete and utter strange person and googling it first and YouTubing it and watching it and thinking oh, that is a big needle. Da, 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 da. I didn't feel it. 
I really didn't feel it. They must numb the area before they put it in. Anyway, didn't feel it, so don't worry yourself about that. Um, and then they lay me down, and then before I knew it, they were asking me to lift my legs, which I couldn't do. You you just can't lift your legs. Um, and then someone asked me if that hurt, does that hurt you? And I thought, what does what hurt? pinching my belly with a giant pair of tweezers big metal tweezers pulling my belly up apparently couldn't feel a thing so to cut a long story short I didn't feel anything I was terrified I didn't feel it I can't talk birth down and say that it's a pain-free birth because the recovery is challenging um, if you don't keep up on your pain meds recovery can be challenging but I'll go into that in another vlog so if you're going in for a cesarean or you don't plan on going in for a cesarean but you're then told into labour that you've got to have a cesarean, please don't worry. I mean, I've spoken to other friends and they've had emergency sections and they've said it was a different story because it was all rushed and they didn't have a chance to think about it. But initially, if a doctor says to you, we're going to have to take you for a cesarean, please don't freak out because it's not, it's okay. And it's okay to birth that way. We got it on video. It was the most amazing experience of mine and Sam's life. And I can't wait to embarrass Georgia with it when she's 18. <laughs> so, yeah, fantastic. I'll talk about recovery in another video. But before you know it, you're in the theatre. If you can just get over that initial, that, the, that anxiety of, oh my God, I'm going in for this big operation it's really enjoyable once you get in there if you relax you don't feel things people might feel the the drip going into the hand a little bee sting they might feel the epidural in the back I didn't you might not so yeah at the end of the day you've got that baby in your arms it was incredible they put they passed it to me I think I had like a gentle cesarean thinking about it now um, Georgia was passed to me and put on my chest and she breastfed for 45 minutes um, in recovery after the op but she also breastfed while they were stitching me up so I had no idea and when they lifted her over to show me over that, that screen oh my god, fills me with excitement and tears and joy and everything even thinking about it now so I'll let you go anyway I just wanted to give you a bit of a lowdown on an elective cesarean still on thought it had gone off <laughs> okay then well i will do another blog over the weekend okay all right take care thanks for listening bye